Yeah, he does seem to have been a pretty well balanced and sober bloke. Um, by all accounts, he had a very happy marriage. Um, there are stories that he would race home after cricket games, uh, although he spent an awful lot of time traveling around the country in different places. He got on with people very well. So he was very well liked, despite falling out with some people uh, at certain times, they still remained friends in the, in the longer run. And I reckon he comes over as pretty stubborn. He wouldn't give in, you know, he would be very hard to change his mind. So even on some things, I think that where he was probably in the, in the wrong, if he believed he was right, he would just, you know, maintain that position. He had some time with his Sussex early in his career that ended um, partly because he had some injuries, but it ended in a bad way. Uh, and it's not quite clear why, but he left Sussex. Subsequently, he fell out with the East Hans Club in Southampton, where he had a contract. He left them, basically, he broke his contract with, with the East Hans Club to go to play for Surrey, where he could earn more money. And he, but he was the one who took East Hans to court saying that they owed him money. Um, it's pretty clear that he was in the wrong and the case was found against him. But basically the East Hans Club <laughs> didn't pursue it and, and, and footed the, foot the bill. Um, there you know, there's just something there that if he thought he was owed money and he was a professional, he needed to earn money. If he thought he was owed, owed something, he would pursue that. Um, but he seemed to do it in a way that um, did not cause personal problems for him, you know, he remained friends with the people at East Hams.